Good afternoon, President Finkelman, Chairman Sussman, distinguished guests, parents, family, and friends. My name is Dina Maben, and it is my great privilege to serve as the director of the Jewish Community High School of Gratz College. David, please begin the music. Our graduates. Montara Bader. Kaylee Bader. Ian Justin Felder. Adam Todd Fields. Abraham Gayer. To start us off this afternoon, I would like to introduce the president of Gratz College, Dr. Paul Finkelman, who has a few words for you. Thank you very much, Dina, and uh, it is a pleasure to be here virtually. Obviously, all of us wish we were here in person. Uh, circumstances don't allow that. Um, when you look back on this graduation, you will recall the uniqueness of it. You will note that you were perhaps the only class you are the only students who've gone through a virtual graduation because I'm sure in the future there will be regular in-person graduations. And in some ways that provides a kind of an interesting context for uh, what we're doing today. Rather than seeing this as a disappointment because we are not here in one place, I think we should see this as a unique opportunity for us to realize that whether we're physically in Philadelphia, physically in our homes, physically in Grants College, we are all part of a much larger community. And as a result of that, uh, I hope we'll look back on this graduation as a graduation that uh, signifies the long history and tradition of the Hebrew High School at Gratz College. This year, Gratz College celebrates its 125th anniversary, and the high school began just a couple of years later. And so for more than 120 years, we have had students attending the Gratz Community High School, uh, the Gratz Hebrew High School. They have been graduating. They have been going on to significant, important jobs and professions, and more importantly, significantly contributing to the Jewish community in Philadelphia and around the world. So um, you come from a long tradition, a great tradition. I congratulate all of you. I look forward to hearing about your events uh, in the future and uh, good luck. Thank you, Dr. Finkelman. Uh, this definitely has been a year of firsts for all of us. Uh, way back in the fall, we took our first step in becoming an online program, a fully online program, when we launched a hybrid course on Israel. Uh, students met by Zoom each week, completed independent work online, uh, and two of the members of this year's class were actually part of that program. Based on the success of that model, we decided that we Boy, would here. the entire program to an online format. Um, and there is an old Yiddish saying, man tracht und Gott lacht, people plan and God laughs. And so this spring, in an emergency move, we moved the entire program online ahead of schedule. I have to say that I'm really proud of the way our students handled that move. They showed great maturity in the face of sudden disappointments and were really amazingly adaptive. 
While many of their public schools took several weeks to get programming up online, our JCS students spent their time engaging in some of the many Jewish educational opportunities that were made available to them through partnerships like our partnership with Unpacked for Educators and their Game Changers series. Many of our students, including at least one of today's graduating seniors, took the opportunity to hear from Refusnik, Natan Sharansky, on how to deal with living in isolation. They heard from Harvard University instructor Tal Ben Shahar on positive psychology and New York Times editor Barry Weiss on anti-Semitism. And now commencement this year is also a different experience. For the first time we're celebrating together, but at a distance. But celebrate we will because these five students have worked long and hard for the last five years. Their grace during difficult times, their ability to put aside disappointments for the sake of the whole community, and especially their resilience is an inspiration to me and all who have had the privilege of working with them. And so on this lovely spring afternoon, it's only fitting that we hear from them about what their time at JCHS has meant to them. We'll also hear from their teachers about what they have meant to us. Our first student speaker is Adam Fields, who's been a valued member of our student body for the past five years. Adam. All right, so first I wanna congratulate my fellow classmates. Um, so I've had the privilege of spending my last five years at JCHS and the transition from regular Hebrew school classes to JCHS really helped me grow as an educated Jewish individual. I've had, I have a more complete background regarding Judaism than I've ever expected. And before attending grads, I wouldn't, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, thank you to everyone who has given me this opportunity to grow for, further as a person and a Jewish team. So that or bye, Adam, thank you so much. Each and every one of these five young women and men have grown considerably in their time with us. And as they end their time in our high school program and launch their college careers, we mark their unique accomplishments with a series of special awards. The first to honor these students whose academic achievement has earned him a special place in the Shalem Honor Society. The student who is joining that society in this class is Ian Felzer. Every year, the students who earn this prestigious standing are invited to officially join the Shalem Honor Society by signing a special book, which carries the name of every JCHS graduate who's, who has earned this distinction. So Ian, when we're able to get back to Gratz campus in a few weeks, I'll arrange for you to come in and sign your name into that book among those who have gone before you. Before we move on to any other prizes, I think we should hear from two more of our graduates, McKaylee Bader and Adam Geyer. First, McKaylee. My years at Gratz have been educational and inter interesting. It was insightful when they would have people come in and speak or have us all watch a movie about our history. I learned the importance of Judaism and learned some Hebrew along the way as well. And Abraham. Um, when I got to Kratz, I took an interest in Jewish ethics. I was really surprised with how much I, I already agreed with what I learned in class, how much I already believed, and how much it just sounded like common sense to me most of the time. Thank you, Abraham and Michaeli. Well, we now continue with the presentation of several named awards and prizes. Many of these awards that we're privileged to grant this morning are the result of love and commitment to JCHS by generous members of our Gratz JCHS family and community. Some of the awards are given in memory of beloved family and friends who are no longer with us. Others celebrate a legacy of dedication to Gratz College and the value of excellent Jewish learning that has been our hallmark for the last 125 years and which, God willing, will continue to be our hallmark for the next 125 years. 
Some of our donors are with us here this afternoon. Others will be watching this video of this ceremony. We want to thank them all for allowing us to keep alive the memories of their loved ones and for enabling us to celebrate the accomplishments of these extraordinary students at the same time. I'd like to invite the senior member of the faculty, Rhonda Whitlin, who has been with these students from their first day at JCS, JCHS, to present the awards. Good afternoon. Ari Goldberg, a previous director of JCHS, was not only an educator, but a father to one of our JCHS students, Rena Goldberg. Rena was a JCHS student when her life was tragically taken. Rena's motto was, love life, dream big, and be positive. Her determination and optimistic outlook enabled her to write and produce a short film called The Magic Bracelet. The trailer can be seen on YouTube. In Rena's honor, we award the Rena C. Goldberg Memorial Prize for dedication to Jewish studies at JCHS Gratz to a single graduate every year. This year, we would like to award the Rena C. Goldberg Memorial Prize to Abraham Geyer in recognition of his constant determination and persistence to his JCHS Gratz studies. Doctors Jonathan and Susan Rosenbaum have generously created a prize for excellence in Hebrew language. Dr. Jonathan Rosenbaum is president emeritus of Gratz College and he and Susan Rosenbaum are with us today. Dr. Rosenbaum, Thank you for your ongoing support of JCHS and Gratz College. As many of you know, Hebrew language is an important aspect of our program. We are the only Hebrew high I know of that offers up to five levels of modern Hebrew language. This year's recipient of the Rosenbaum Prize for Excellence in Hebrew Language is Ian Belzer. Our next award is the Lenore Bryan Memorial Prize, which was created just a few years ago by the family of Lenore after her untimely death. Lenore worked at the front desk of Gratz for 13 years. She greeted everyone with warmth and joy and made every person who entered our building feel welcome. Lenore loved Gratz and JCHS students. She took pride in having studied here herself as an adult. Lenore was committed to Jewish learning, grats, and community service. Lenore was committed to Jewish learning, and she spent countless hours coordinating efforts to make sure members of the Jewish community had the food that they needed, a goal that is as relevant and important today as it was when Lenore was with us. Lenore's family created this prize to honor a student who demonstrated an outstanding commitment to community service on a regular basis, embodying some of our most basic Jewish tenets, but continues amid all of the current challenges to work with JRA to deliver food to those in need right now. It is my pleasure to award McKaylee Bader the Lenore Bryan Memorial Prize. The next award was created by Lenore to honor her parents, to be specific, Lenore's mom, Marsha Eats. It is awarded to a student who achieves the highest scholastic standing in their graduating class. It is my honor to award the Marsha Eats Memorial Prize for highest scholastic standing to Ian Belzer. The Harry Yolen Prize is awarded to a student who produces an outstanding piece of academic work. This year's recipient has made great strides during her time at JCHS. This year, 
we present the Harry Yolen Prize to a student for outstanding academic paper on Israel's bombing techno booming technology sector. The Harry Yolen Prize this year is awarded to Montera Bader. The Michael Tobia Plam Endowed Memorial Prize was established in memory of Michael Plam, an alumnus of the JCHS Gratz High School. The prize was established by Michael's parents who are with us today. This prize is awarded to students who, like Michael, exemplify the value of gemilut chasadim and model loving kindness in all their deeds. I am very pleased to announce that the recipients of this year's Michael Plan Memorial Prize to a student that exemplifies the spirit of this award in every aspect of his life and definitively at JCHS Gratz. This year's recipient is Ian Felzer. The Solomon and Manny Teller Kidroff Prize celebrates the outstanding participation of an individual attending JCHS grads. This year, the JCHS faculty have selected Adam Fields as recipient of the Solomon and Manny Teller Kidroff Prize for his commitment and constant participation at JCHS grads. Mazal tov to all of our prize winners this year. Thank you, Rhonda. I know you all join me in congratulating everyone who earned an award or prize today. You should know we are incredibly proud of you. Um, also students, each of these prizes carries with it a small cash award, which you will receive in the mail along with your diplomas and certificates. And now I think we should hear from another of our students, Montera Bader. My time at JCHS not only taught me important values and lessons in correlation to Judaism, but it also created fun memories that will resonate with me forever. JCHS provided many interesting and educational courses for its students within a fun manner. The courses were different each semester and year, which always meant there was variety. The opportunity to learn Hebrew at five different levels was also provided, and personally, I really enjoyed learning the language. In addition to the coursework, we were introduced to interesting people within the local community, and we were able to interact with them and hear their stories. Some of my favorite moments were participating within the activities for the holidays that were planned for us by other students. We always celebrated the holidays with new activities, such as dressing up for Purim, scavenger hunts to find the hidden Akukoman, and baking. My time at JCHS has taught me several values and lessons, but the most important value I learned was appreciating even the tiniest things that are provided for you. Thank you, Montera. You painted a very vivid picture of the fun that students have had at JCHS, and I know Rhonda in particular smiled uh, at your words. Um, Rhonda is going to call the name of each graduate, and we will, I will read the certificates and diplomas that this grad the graduates are earning today. Uh, seniors, you're invited to share their plans for next year and any final quotes or reflections on their time at JCHS. These will appear on the screen as each student's name is called. Adam Todd Fields. Having completed five years of education at JCHS, Adam has earned the JCHS Diploma. Abraham Geyer. Abraham has also completed five, year, five years of education at Gratz and has also earned the JCHS Diploma. McKaylee Bader. Michaela is receiving her JCHS diploma and a certificate in service learning for her outstanding community service. 
Montera Bader. Montera is receiving her JCHS diploma and a certificate in service learning, which is awarded for her community service. Ian Justin Belzer. In addition to his JCHS diploma, Ethan has earned the Rebecca Gratz teaching certificate as well as certificates in Hebrew and youth leadership. And he has earned the distinction of entrance into the Shalem Honor Society. I know that you uh, will give them all a virtual round of applause. Uh, and uh, please feel free to write your congratulatory comments in the chat box that you can find at the bottom of your screen. Uh, we now are going to hear from one final student. Please welcome our class valedictorian, Ian Felzer. Thank you. Um, when I started at JCHS out of lower school, I wasn't sure how different grads would be compared to my Jewish day school upbringing. As I quickly learned, it provided me with a more challenging but an incredibly rewarding opportunity to grow my knowledge and skills as a student and member of the Jewish community. Through my seven years at Grass College, I've had the opportunity to take a wide variety of classes covering topics from ancient Judaic texts to how to navigate the challenges faced by Jewish teenagers in our current times. From learning and growing as a Grass College student to learning how to use what I've learned to teach in other Jewish institutions, have proven to be uniquely valuable skills as I prepare to go off to college. Balancing secular school at Gratz College has been a challenge, but it has helped me grow into a student who is not only able to excel in many different educational environments, but it's allowed me to continue my Jewish education and grow spiritually and academically in ways I never could have expected. This opportunity is one that I feel both extremely thankful for and very proud to have enabled and participate in throughout my years in school. One of my favorite aspects of J JCHS has been the ability to socialize, learn, and engage with other students close to my age, which allow me to make new friends and stay connected to the Jewish community throughout my time as a student, both through classes and special events, such as Grass's many programs focused on important Jewish topics and holidays. I'm extremely grateful to have been given this opportunity to be part of Gratz College, and lessons, skills, and friends I have developed at grads will remain a strong part of who I am as I enter college years and beyond. I'd like to thank Grads College, specifically Brad Will and Dina Maven and President Finkelman, not only for making sure that every week is a new opportunity to engage and teach students in rewarding ways, but also for making sure that Grads College and JCHS in particular remain programs and institutions dedicated to providing unparalleled Jewish education has inspired us all to continue our Jewish learning and grow long after our life in high school. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. I think our student speakers today have done a remarkable job. Let's thank them one more time. Now, today we've celebrated our students and acknowledged our faculty but there's another group of people who are responsible for the success of JCHS, and that's our parents. A recent study documented what I consider to be the Jewish community's greatest tragedy, and that is the decline in participation in Jewish learning post bar and bat mitzvah. The researchers found that one third of supplementary school students drop out after grade nine. And by grade 10, only one seventh remain enrolled. Parents, it is a tremendous accomplishment for you to have guided your children to continue their Jewish education through 12th grade and to support them in that effort. I know it takes a certain blend of enthusiasm, determination, and fortitude. And for that, we are all grateful to you. As our ceremony draws to a close, there are a couple of other people who deserve our thanks for their tireless work behind the scenes. 
First, my colleague Debbie Leon, who keeps all of our programs running on track. Uh, today, we have also had special support from our IT department, and I'd like to thank Donna Guerin, Suzette martinez Quiles, and Andrew Pollock, and David Cook-Burke. David's been running the presentation this morning and providing technical support. My thanks also to Dodie Klimoff and Mindy Cohen, both of whom have been involved with JCHS for many years as students, teachers, and JCHS parents. Mindy's been involved with the logistics of our program all year long. And students, uh, when you enjoy the sweet treat that we've sent, you can thank Mindy for arranging that. Uh, last but never least, there is another person deserving of great thanks from all of us, and that is Luba Pridicin, our administrative assistant, who has worked tirelessly behind the scenes at JCHS not only this year, but every year. Luba has been a godsend, greeting everyone as they came in the door and keeping track of all the administrative details. And frankly, I don't think we would have made it through this year without her. Seniors, enjoy the sweet treat we sent and share it with your family. They did a lot to bring you to this incredible moment. And now, as the director of the Jewish Community High School of Gratz College, I declare that Montera Bader, McKaylee Bader, Ian Justin Felzer, Adam Todd Fields, and Abraham Geyer are officially graduates of the Jewish Community High School of Gratz College. To symbolize your new status as graduates, please move your tassel from the right side to the left. Mazel tov. My thanks to everyone for another wonderful year at JCHS. Uh, graduates, please leave as the music starts and I call your name. Montera Bader. Kaylee Bader. Ian Justin Felzer. Our field. Adam Todd Field. Abraham Gayer. Rhonda Whitland, Dr. Finkelman, have a wonderful afternoon everyone and enjoy the celebration.